What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another game of Wolfenstein, the New Order. Um, <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and jump right in uh, after that, uh, you know, nice ending. There's a prison transport arriving. Help. But, uh, decided not to block that out. Who cares? Uh, I don't monetize my shit anyways. I don't make money off of this. I don't care for it. But not that I don't care to make money. I just I don't care anymore about that. So... Berlin, October 12th, 1960, a prisoner trying to escape Auswad Aus last week found himself in the belly of a beast of the beast when he was eaten alive by one of the guard uh, guarded Panzerhuden. The guard tried to pull the prisoner from the metal jaws of the Panzerhuden, but the superior the superiority of the Reich technology made the rescue attempt futile. Prisoner was a convicted murderer and rapist who will be certainly mi not missed by anyone. No. Uh, in my opinion, sounds like he got what he deserved. Now, did he decide to get you know killed by that? No, nah, you never know. Nice ass. They're making a pickup. You find a way to get down on the roof of that prison transport bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenberg Prison. I go down and distract the guard. Maybe he won't see you. Crow, crow, call, 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 call. Damn. What is that? Curious gadget. Useless without a battery. No oh, shit, that is a weird gadget. Battery, 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 battery. I don't see one on there. I don't see one there either. Oh. Just take that battery. Ooh, laser. Laser cutter, that sounds BA. Oh. That's sweet. Can I make can I make do like doors? <laughs> I can make any shape I want. No, okay. Got to remember to go low enough to where I can just walk through. Noted. Alright, let's go recharge this thing really quick. Boop. Boop. Hello. Now that, that is worth going in. Whoa. Nice. Um, there we go. Alright. 
Charge this one more time. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Awesome. It don't matter, I guess. Signal detected. Oh, groovy. Oh, hi. Oh man, I don't have my other knife. No, you didn't see nothing. Can't go through that way. Didn't see nothing. Oh, they got a baton. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, I will win this! <laughs> Freaking psychopaths. Whoa. That's creepy. I don't know what that was all about. Man, who needs a good smoking stogie in there, man? What's wrong with y'all? This guy looks very, very important. Oh, he's the same color, he just... Bad, 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 bad. I want your hat. I don't know. Shut up. What the heck did I unlock? <clears throat> I unlock this. Displays commanders on the map. Oh, nice. Alright, so there's a secret in this room somewhere. There we go. And there's a secret back here, too. Yeah. Headquarters map. Maybe good stuff. How do I get back here? What? One plus one equals two. Five plus six equals eleven. Duh. Um, yeah. What's this? Moscow, October 12th, 1960. Located near the northern part of Ural Mountains. Ural Mountains. Not far from Kursk. Karesi. The Death Head Commando training camps are considered to be the toughest in the world. In the series of investigative reports, we reveal how these fierce combatants manage to live through their days in extreme cold temperatures and how that makes them the superior warriors. Keep doing that. There's something, there's something up here, but I can't get to it. And there's another thing over in this room. So this is the way to get to it right here. But I can't. Oh shit. Oh shit. My Jesus Christ. I did not recognize the dog at the last second there. Stop twitching. Stop it. 
You're creepy enough as it is. I figured it out. You don't actually have to hold the shift button in order to run. So, running's a little bit easier now. <clears throat> First German lands on the moon. <laughs> Barely in 1921, 1950 at 3.56 uh, yesterday afternoon, astronaut Hans Armstank Stark <laughs> Stank <laughs> became... <laughs> Uh, became the first man to walk on the moon. The first contact with the moon's surface was made 30 minutes after Armstank Stark. <laughs> this will be Armstrong, but and his co-pilot Emmerich Otto steered the lunar mo module to its landing spot in the area known as Glimmer Bowl. After the landing, the two astronauts began their adventure on the moon by planting the beautiful flag of the Reich. They then started collecting soil rock samples for further analysis on Earth. Oh, for Earth. Interesting. Screw you. Alright. I think. Alright. So here's where the stealth mission stuff starts happening. This is why sometimes it's better to uh, keep yourself or to, to prepare yourself with that. Wow, that was fast. Oh, okay. Okay, I fell. I'm gonna go over here. Nothing. Nothing. Elswood Prison. Oh, I missed one. Secret police headquarters to f to facilitate a society that adheres to the principles of the Nazi, Nazi ideology. The secret police in the Berlin is an essential part of everyday life in Berlin. Their presence is at once omnipresent and invisible. 
The citizens of Berlin know that their every move is being watched and have been indoctrinated for over a decade that it is their own good. It is for their own good. Most of them are perfectly fine with this. The secret police... Okay. Okay. Look. There we go. Uh, where was I? The secret police is located just a few blocks from the Volkschlag of Berlin. Elf. Eisenwood Pr Wad Prison. As the most notorious prison in Berlin, Eiswad holds not only hardcore criminals, but also more subverse elements that still exist in the city. According to the authorities, there has never been a successful escape attempt since its opening in 1946. Until now. What's up, big guy? Prison guard melee. Prison guards are employed based on how they score on a personality test. Sadistic tendencies and impaired empathetic uh, capabilities are usually favored to fit in with the working environments of the Germans' corrective facilities. Prison guards are equipped with batons or assault rifles and are quite capable in both melee and ranged. Interesting. Bad, bad Nazi. It's so nice. It's so it's this game is just it's perfect. I mean, it's so easy to figure out why you would hate these people. I mean, they're they're Nazis. Why, why am I killing these guys? Oh wait, they're Nazis. Why am I killing these uh, these? Oh, I'll use the laser cutters. Nice, but uh. Why am I killing these zombies? Oh, they're Nazi zombies. It's just, it's just such an easy thing to hate. I wonder if I go backwards. I wonder if I'll go down them. Kinda. Sorta. Ish. My first pistol. Hopefully, I get a silence. No, no pistol. He had a pistol in his hand, or was it a baton? It might have been a baton. Whoa. Something tells me I don't want to get seen by this. And he also tells me I can't get through it. No, I can't. I gotta go around. Go through the gates with my plasma cutters. Yeah, it's gonna force me to use the plasma cutters here. Which is fine. Uh, now we wait for this guy to come back. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for this guy to come back. I wanna kill him. Get him out of the way. Come on, buddy. There we go. Nope, oh, okay. Don't mind the hole in the fence, bud. Hold the fence means nothing. Move along.
Sie nicht, dass unerlaubter körperlicher Kontakt zwischen Häftlingen automatisch eine Sternverlängerung nach sich zieht? Was so? Don't want to get too far ahead of him. So it was gonna make you unlock the, uh, basically the stuff without you even wanting to, because it makes you use the knife here. It's gonna make you unlock the throwing knife whether you like it or not, basically. This is the ugliest circle ever, but I don't care. All right. Can't shut those off with that. Can't go up these steps though. Let's see what's up these steps. Hang in the door. Nah, right, big gay. Something on the wall up there. What's your guard path look like? I have a feeling he's gonna come this way. Oh, he's not. He's just gonna pace back and forth. That's fine with me. Is there another one? No. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I understand that I ran, but <laughs> what? <laughs> I just sat there stabbing him. <laughs> oh, God. Um, um. Okay. Yikes. Don't fuck with puppy. What? No. Oh. Oh no, I might have messed up. I might have to fight here. No, 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 don't turn around, 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 don't turn around. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bad puppy. Oh. No? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, poor guy. He's taking a piss. Oh. Right in his own urine. Ow. Really? And you flush it? Alright, there's the officer. What a dick. <laughs> Can I sneak up on a dog and stab it? Oh, I can. I don't know how that would be possible, but I can. Guys asleep. It's almost too easy. No, oh, I didn't realize he'd wake up from me standing up. That's that's kind of dumb. But whatever. What we got here? Scientists Manhattan livable in just five years. Berlin, October 12th, 1960. Manhattan has been a radioactive wasteland in the past decade. There have been a few attempts to go to into the forbidden zone because of the risk of lethal exposure to radiations. But now scientists believe they may have a way to turn the radioactive ground zero of New York into a livable environment in just five years. This technological could our technology could finally make atom bombs safer to use without destroying the environment, said Professor Johann Trout. That ah, fuck. I, these, these German names, man. <laughs> They're crazy. I'm so sorry if you're German and I'm butchering these names, but... It's, it's, it's hard for... It's hard for me to read them correctly. What's this? Oh, a key. Okay, I got the key now. What does the key do? I don't know. We shall find out. What the heck is this? Is he in here? Yeah, he's back in the back. He's hiding. He doesn't want to work. Well, sleeping on the job. Enigma pieces found. Love it. Oh, I don't really need that. But we'll cut it anyways. Might as well take it. We'll read that here in just a second. Once I stab this fool. Come on. Any day now. I can move a little bit faster. Come on. Thank you. Kidney shot. All right. The Coal Loader Room. Coal is one of the several energy sources used to power the massive Ensign World prison. Tons of coal are transported each day into the Coal Loader Room via the expansive, ex expansive, expansive, expensive, newly built Berlin underground system. No one dares to protest against the black smoke pumping out of the facility and polluting the surrounding neighborhood. <laughs>
Someone tells me not to get seen by him. I don't know if it's a robot. I don't. I don't really know. I, I honestly don't care. Okay. No, I lied. I. I kind of care. It's just a robot. There's nobody operating it. But there's something over here. Golden nugget. I'll take. Worth. Man, this whole not having another weapon is kind of it's kind of weird, man. Ooh, don't see me. Should probably come back this way. Yep. All right, we'll wait for you to go by. Come on, buddy. Hi, Miss Robot. Hi, 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 hi. Go, go, dump your stuff. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they scared the shit out of me! Uh, the Pentahun 1960 is the evolution of the first prototypes created by the General Deathshed during the war. As envisioned by the General in one of his uh, fevered vision dreams, it is a super efficient murder machine encased in titanium, steel, pl armor, and fitted with bone-crushing metal jaws that can cut through the thickest of body armor. Oh my god. Go away. You are freaky, man. Just, 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 just stop. I don't want to go that way. I don't, I don't want to. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Running. Because you can go F yourself. No reason not to top off. Can you keep coming this way? I hope not. Oh dear God. Um. No, I think I locked it in. Okay, thank you, God. Thank you. No. Don't tell me you can break through that. The block is where the Nazis incarcerate political prisoners and resistance fighters. The block has been outfitted with special torture chambers where the secret police regularly interrogate prisoners. You <laughs> exercise every day in fresh air.
Ow, 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 ow. What the hell was that? <laughs> I didn't see the stupid automated turret. God damn, I couldn't even react. He just murdered me. Oh, damn it. Oh. There's no way I'm getting in there without being seen. Now, so now I gotta get past that automated turret. What am I looking for? Yeah, I've got to get up there. Hey, I get to level 2. Maybe I should just try to run past it. Those guys are making enough noise. Okay, yeah, no, it does actually have lasers. Okay, so yeah, I can run past it. No, no. You don't see me. No, no. Don't do that. Alright. Oh, fuck you. Is there even anything up there that's worth getting? It looks like it's both blocked on both sides. Well, there you go. Can I cut through these? No, I didn't think so. I don't think I can make it past this one. I didn't think so. Maybe I do need to kill those two people down the bottom. Oh. I don't know. Here, we'll just melee fight you. <laughs> okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. Alright.
Whoa, Jesus, dude. Why are you, like, stalking towards me slowly? That was creepy. Alarm drill in progress, that's cute. Jesus Christ. You can get rid of two of them, but man, they get pissed. Damn it. <laughs> I figured this out. You don't need to tell me this. I figured this out. <sighs> Alright. Well. Kill this idiot. Okay. Oh, what is this thing? What was that thing? <laughs> Automatic shotgun, I think it was. I think that's where I read at. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, let's kill the one by himself, and, but, God, it's just so difficult to get anywhere near them. <laughs> Good night. Pretty. That is a beautiful piece of equipment.
<laughs> Dude, everything looks so cool looking. <laughs> I got out no problem, bud. <laughs> he puts a garbage can in front of it and shit. See any? Canines have been dispatched. Quick draw. Yeah, no, that is that's that's a lot faster ADS. Let me off the freaking thing. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ! Jesus. Who has escaped this hellhole? What my best in pieces? Cover me while I open this gate. Jesus Christ, hi! He did not see you coming. Ah, what the fuck killed me? Man, there must have been a dude right next to me. That's some bullcrap. Oh well. I'm playing on hard mode. I expected to die at least a few times. Most likely a lot. You don't play through these playthroughs the very first time on hard mode. You're supposed to play them on easy, but eh. Ain't, got, ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know. Not this time, puppy. I 
My health regen just a smidge. With some armor, I guess. Go! What are you covering for? <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Freaking doom over here, Jesus! Oh, oh. <laughs> that guy's got a lot of freaking armor. <laughs> a lot more than my 20 HP can handle. Man, man, I done died again. Wonder where my checkpoint is. Oh, of course. Oh my god, I forgot about you again! <laughs> god damn it! Stupid dog! <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do. Oh my god, he just two shot me. Damn. All right. Reduce the damage from his attacks by blocking. Hang on, yo. Ooh, dog got moves. Um, I want the puppy's armor. Man.
get wrecked. Oh, okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. This guy can freaking withstand a grenade at his feet? Damn. That's a badass right there. F you, dog. Get more grenades. Seriously? I had no other rounds, are you kidding me? Oh, okay, I forgot I didn't disable that one. God damn it. <sighs> These shotgun dudes, man, they're overpowered. God damn. Dual wielding in this game is good and all if you have almost infinite ammo. If you got a lot of ammo and you can dual wield, then dual wield, but. I got him. Right, right. Almost forgot about you. God bless it. Yes, give me the ammo. Thank you. Nice 
this military role. Come on, bro. Where are you? There we go. It's uh. As a flopper. Okay. So you guys can throw them through that shit, but I can't. Because reasons. Okay. Now you're just being... Now you're just being dicks. This freaking shotgunner, dude. Needs to just beat it. Go away! Oh my god! How does he so overpowered? He's killing me from like nine miles away with a freaking shotgun! Ah. <sighs> Whatever. We'll make it through. Dog looks confused. Save all my freaking AK ammo for the badass guys. Stuff with the dual living, please. Oh, come on.
It went down. Ah, that's fucking retarded. That's that's just dumb. Just fucking dumb. You just stop starting me off with my dual wields. F you. Next. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Meanwhile, she's taking fucking pot shots at me. How many headshots does it take? not G. F you, you overpowered SOB. Fuck you. I'm gonna have to wait. Replenishing my stock of ammunition. Oh, the dead body's gone. on something. Okay, there we go. Ah, we're through. Yes. Through that part at least. I see you. I throw a grenade. I don't have a grenade. Come on, dude. Big baby.
What? Shotgun is pretty overpowered, though. Alright, time to get all doom up in this bitch. Okay, pick up the ammo. The armor, thank you. Oh, yeah. Deck me out. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> God damn it. You're a dick. <laughs> yeah, I got fucking dual wields now, bitch. Wait, you still seriously alive? Yeah, you didn't live for that one, though. No. Shotgunner. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, they're so overpowered. I shouldn't really sit there and uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I don't do enough damage. God damn, those guys do so much damage. He just shredded my armor. He put me down to like 90 before it was over. Come on, eat. <sighs> oh, so you can stop them from biting if you hold down the other button while you're... That's B.A. Oh my god. The grenade throwing mechanic is a little... A little weird. Why are you just ignoring my friend? You should never ignore my friend. That wasn't very smart. Seriously, so this guy's still alive? I like to being doom. So you can stop him from biting if you hold down that button eventually. What shots do you need? Eventually you will stop them from uh, biting you. Oh, another enigma. Nice, nice. Me gusta. Alright, enough of the deal, really. I never was a fan of Doom. Let me out here, man! Jesus! Don't let me get killed. I took out the big one, you take out the other one.
We still gotta take out the big guy. What started? Oh. Wait, I want to drive. I want to shoot. Fuck it, drive right through the window. <laughs> Run, go. Shut it in. Well, I can't believe you made it out of there. Me neither. <laughs> I didn't, but you know. Jesus, dude. Calm yourself. Oh, dear. Don't ask stupid question, lady. Got eyes all over the city, tracking their every move. This is nighttime, we have more options. Daytime entry to the Chrysler Resistance headquarters is no easy feat. Not that anyone's ever tried one before. The skies are empty for now. Lucky for us. Well, I'd rather die in the fresh air than in that damn prison. Right, you be on the light now. This is a two-parter. First, we need to hit that blind spot precisely dead on. You in possession? Now! Go, go, go! Stay in this here mist. No one will see us. Right, this is the second part. We're jumping. Don't hesitate, just do it. As soon as you hit the water, you're gonna hold your breath and swim after me. Whatever you do, stay under the water. You break the surface, we're all dead. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Now don't think about it. Just jump! Things not recharged. There's no Enigma codes here. After four, I got four of four. Ah, oh, missed one. Oh, 
Jesus Christ, what happened to his head? Police, Captain. This is close. He's on our side. Used to be a Nazi, but not anymore. How is this possible? We're in the very center of Berlin. You're hiding in a plain sight. It's the last place they would have got. Will they not hear us? You must keep your voice down, yeah? Fuck me. B.J. Blasco. I should have known only you would be dumb enough to do a daytime entry, you lady. Plenty of you back for this. Caroline, you're alive. Two four shitting in a bag living. Three pulverized fur crack. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron shrapnel right in the conk. Still in there. Severed colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen years so, in a loony bin. <laughs> what can you do? You don't. Pleased to see you too, Tekla. You're supposed to be dead, but you're stupid. You've been gone for three months. Stupid anomaly. People don't come back from Eisenwald. You don't seem to the books. I've heard stories about you. I was told you died in 1946. Information always. You I don't even know who you are. I bear you for, for none of this. I've been accounted for. I have to revise my whole model. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper that someone has borrowed. It's Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find a good way to read it, please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Listen in on these frequencies. Anything? All right. Well. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. Uh, not exactly um, as much going on. Failed a few times going through that one spot. But we made it. But uh, thank you very much for joining me. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button plus the notification in order to get a notification when I do upload my next video. Um, other than that, thank you very much for joining me. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode.